Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, let's learn about a Python program to display the number of days in a given month in a given year. So given a year and the month, so you have to find the number of days in that particular month. So you have to also consider the leap year. So let's uh, try to solve this. So yeah, so let's ask a user to enter the year and month. So let me take a variable year equals to so let me use input function and here let's ask user to enter year now let's convert this to an integer value from string to an int using type conversion so yeah so once we get the year so let's take another variable that is month equals to so let me use input function and here let's say enter month yeah, so these are the two input values that we should get from the user. So let's convert it into an integer. So now what we have to do is we have to take the that is a month list. So there are two lists. So we have to take first is that is a that is February and other list is the months containing the only 30 days. So let's do that. So months underscore list equals to so let's take the nested list so yeah so this is a two that is february and this is a another list inside the list that contains the months so yeah so this is a containing the 30 days so 30 days containing are 4 6 9 and 11 so you can remember this using this this way so 4 is a summer season in india then 6 and 9 are the rainy seasons and uh, this is the 11 is a cyclonic season in India. So yeah, so that's how you try to remember this. That is the month containing a 30 days. So once that said, so yeah, so now let's check if the month is in the proper range that is between 1 and 12. So let's use if, let's take uh, 1 is less than the month that is whatever user has entered is correct or not so yeah so if this is between the range of 1 to 12 so let's try to evaluate and try to print the dates else what you have to do is just print the invalid month that is invalid month entered and give some exclamation mark yeah, so this inside this if statement. So if the month is valid, let's check if the month is a February. So if month in that is month list of zero. So this contains a February month. If this is a February month, so you have to check if the year is a leap year. So to check the leap year, so you have to evaluate uh, two conditions that is year modulus 4 is equal equals to 0 and year modulus 100 is not equals to 0 so this is the first condition for the leap year or what you have to do is just use year modulus 400 is equal equals to 0 so this is a condition for leap year so i have made multiple videos on the leap year so you can go and watch it how to check if the year is leap year or not so leap year contains a extra day so that is a february contains 29 days so let's print it month contains let's give a number of days in month is that let's print that number of days in month is let's give colon and here it is a 29 yeah so else what you have to do is just print the number of days in a month is 28 so for the non leap years this is uh, let's change it to 28 so yeah so now else if check if month is part of the 30 day list that is month list of uh, 1 and uh, yeah so let's print it that is number of days in a month is let's give 30 over here i have just copy pasted the above stuff so this is a 30 days month so else what you have to do is just print the that is let me copy paste again the 
that is here it contains 31. Yeah, so this is a complete Python program to display the number of days in a given month. So I'll give, I'll run this program. So enter the year. So let's give 2022. Enter the month. So let's give Feb. So this is a non-leap year. So it contains 28 days. Running it again. Let's give 2022. Sorry, let's give leap year. That is 2024. And let's give 2. So you can see number of days in a month is 29. Running it again. So let's give 2022. And let's give the 4 as a month. So you can see number of days is 30. So now let me run it again. 2022. 20, and let's give Chan. So this contains 31 days. So you can see 31 days has been printed. Yeah, so the program works fine. So that's it in this video. I'll give this code in the description of this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.